Hello everyone, I'm the Anthapul and today we're going to take a look at Ten Penny Tower, a place of riches, racism, and arseholes. So it's located right here in the bottom southwest part of the map, near either the Warrington train yard, Robco facility, or to the right of the Dumwich building. Now there's a lot of political maneuverings in here in the terms of uh, racism against ghouls, and in how stuck up some of these people are. So a couple of things, first of all, uh, round the back right here, you can find this, um, it goes to the metro station. Now it can be accessed, as you'll see later, inside the main building, but we won't take a look at that just yet. So let's go take a look, shall we? It's all brightly lit, it's got lovely chandeliers, and there's that really annoying elevator music that does my fucking bacon, but less of that, less of it. So let's go take a look at some of the rooms, and the first okay. one is actually this one right here, how you do access the metro station. So the ghouls are trying to get into the building, but can't, and I don't understand how, because they could probably come in through this door, but, you know, planning and high are a bitch, we all know that. So there's a couple of places in here, there's a cafe, and we're going to use this as an example of what some of the people here think and look like, because there's not enough interesting dialogue to talk to everyone, but we'll talk to this woman here to see what she has to say about ghouls and Tempany Towers. You're new around here. I'm Margaret... That's lovely, love. It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals. Tenpenny gave me a place to... You're lucky they even let you in here. I'm surprised they did, since it will only encourage those ghouls who want to live here. They don't understand they need to earn the right to live here. I don't know why she compared us to a ghoul. I'm quite handsome. Fuck her. I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. Yep, so good on us. We've torn an old woman's ideals and thoughts apart brutally. And she fucking deserved it, the racist whore. So they all hate the ghouls and they're keeping them out with security. And, oh yeah, you can also loot so many caps and free shit and food out of here using the terminals oh, or the trunks when you can get keys off the residence. It's kind of awesome. There's one other place you can and it's over here to the far side. And it's sort of like a bar or whatever, and there's a terminal you can use, and I will show you, to actually get cheaper drinks. Also, either, either, there's a jukebox, it's kind of cool. So yeah, this terminal will lower your karma, but it will allow you to use a lot of discounts in the store. But, you know, don't use it too much or you'll keep losing more karma, even though they never aggro. Aggro, like this is a MOBA. So yeah, there's also a clothes shop, and once again, you can loot their safe, or access their computer, or talk to them to find out their unique point of view on Tenpenny Towers and the Ghouls. Upstairs, you can find a couple things. You can find just how, what level of affluence people here are living in. Like, these rooms are four or five times as good as people who live out in the waste, and they also have to defend themselves from raiders and get their own food and everything. So some people here had to earn the right to live, uh, like this next room here is the doctor's room. And you can steal some stim packs, but presumably he earned his right to live here by giving medical services. Fuck knows what the rest of them gave, because you'd think Tenpenny wouldn't have any use for cops, considering he's got all this power and wealth. But he still uses them. And you can go and steal shit from other people's rooms, it's not particularly important to be honest. It's upstairs in the penthouses, however. Things get very interesting. So you can find a couple of interesting individuals up here, and a couple of interesting rooms as well. So the rooms up here are massive, they're the size of a huge pre-war house or apartment, and they're fully stocked, they're lighter, they've got bathrooms, they've got a toilet you can shit in, they've got two sinks, it's amazing. Also, it seems like there's meant to be kids here, but I was never able to find any. You can actually also listen in on an argument between a bitch and her husband, and um, yeah. Also, that scared the shit out of me because I didn't know where that was coming from. Also, whoever lives in this room is a fucking raging alcoholic. So yeah, in this next room over here to the right, you can actually go and listen in on a wife taking a psycho with her husband. Sometimes I get the feeling you're off in your own little world. Yes, dear. Useless man. Millicent, have you ever thought of making friends with the other ladies in the tower? Ah, uh, no, mate, you don't want to say that. Edgar, I do believe you are trying to shake me off. Ah, uh, really? The fire has finally died away, has it, Edgar? You fancy someone else these days, do you? No, no, no 
Of course not, you silly woman. It's just that I, well, I think spending time with the other ladies in the tower might do you some good. You know, the other ladies and I don't get along famously. They're quite jealous of me, naturally. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's not just because they think you're all a fucking bitch. Montenegro's quite full of herself, isn't she? Puffed up like the souffle she is. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? I'm quite funny today. Hmm, is that right? Are you even listening yeah, I feel bad for this guy. I thought he'd ask us to kill her, but he never does. So, oh, fuck me. Is it even a woman? Look at her face. Ugh. So this guy right here, Doreen fucking Dashwood, is who we want to talk to. You recognize his stuff from the GNR radio. So let's talk to him for a little bit, shall we? Herbert Dashwood, damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. Let's find out with this glorious bastard nose. Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me, you know. Based on my, um earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you, you ever met a ghoul before? Ah, you've already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Haven't you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We've been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. Don't care? Well, until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. But now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot first and ask later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. So yeah, he's fucking awesome, and I like him for that. So now if we go in here, you can actually access his adventures terminal and find out a lot of things. And I wish he wouldn't box me in here because it makes me uncomfortable being in this close proximity to an old man. So you can find out a couple of things, so you can go with people, King Crag, you say you give him shelter, he's a good guy, then he fucked the guy's daughter and had to run. Nice one mate. Nice. Penelope Chase, <laughs> just a bitch. I like that one. Destiny, I'm assuming this is a hooker or a whore or something. Yeah. Argyle is his manservant, his ghoul manservant, who always saved him in the stories, and he admits, as you've seen, he does save him. And then some fucking slaver. So places are Paradise Falls, which is where I believe he got all those people killed. Yeah. Rockopolis is a strange little place. Uh, this was where he got the slavers coming in, and they're all dead now, and it's actually where you can find Argyle's corpse. This is a whorehouse, as it says right here. Too bad we never found it. Put in a good crack. The underworld is where all the ghouls dwell. And I find Megaton very interesting because it points out, as you'll see right here, it mentions Moriarty. Now, Moriarty was the barkeep that we meet in Megaton, 
and it actually says that Moriarty came here to this country, so that makes me, that tells me he came somewhere else, most likely Ireland, because I'm pretty sure he has an Irish accent. But how the fuck did he over here? I don't even know. Then he was on a bit about uh, Meyer lurks, how they're hard to kill and they do your head in, and they taste pretty good after. Never tried to eat it to be honest, but okay. Feral ghouls, so he's aware that there is, he stands up against the racism, he doesn't like it, but he does know there's some feral ghouls, and they're about to no good. Rad scorpions, I think we are all well acquainted with those shitheads. Big fucking tails shoving up our holes. Excuse, pardon my French. Yagwai, giant yogi bears trying to rip you apart. And he's right about them too. And then the last entry right here. Robo brains. Now, he says a female with a robo brain. And the way he makes it out is like he's actually encountered one with a female robo brain. So that's very odd because we've never encountered anything like that, and nor do we in the waste. The rest of his room is filled with a lot of memorabilia. It's got some gnomes, it's got a radio. It's got stuff that looks like it was grabbed from a vault. He's got a he's safe with his key, but we don't need to go into that. And he's got a couple of tombstones, which is kind of depressing. I don't know why that's there. But yeah, Darren Dashwood. An old crazy bastard with many a story to tell, and we get to hear them emblemish the shit on GNR. So, after this, the last place you can actually go to is the penthouses, which can be located via the elevator in the main lobby. And these are the most fucking affluent places. Okay, they're huge, they're massive. So there's only two guys up here. Okay, one is Tenpenny. This is most likely his suite here. Has some files and desks. He's doing work here or whatever. So this is most likely his suite. There's an empty one for us, which we can get if we get in his good side. And then there's a Chinese guy who lives up here. Um, you're gonna see his name right here. Something Cheng. It actually scared the shit out of me. I didn't even know he's standing in here when I first encountered him. Yeah, there he is. Hello. Erwing Cheng. That's it. I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Thanks, Comrade. I'm sure you'll agree that people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee to investigate the problem. Perhaps you're right. My wife is... I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. That's not the word. Good to see you again, comrade. Well, comrade, things are great. The best of the best have made a community here. Well, there is that problem with the ghouls, but I think it'll be solved soon enough. So as you can see, he definitely voted for the Communist Party. And he creeps me out because he has that whole let's purge the world and change it but at the expense of everybody else feel to him, especially the ghouls. So we can actually activate his computer and get a really disturbing message on it. Okay, it's all about um, purging things, uh, rebuilding the world, and I believe he's talking about using it with the influence of Tenpenny Towers. But I'm pretty sure he also talks about killing everyone who's not a proper human as well. Which is, sort of reminds me of the Enclave, and I don't like that. There's not really much more information, unfortunately, to expand upon. But, um, uh, at the end of the day, what can you do? So yeah, he's creepy. I don't like him. So, after you leave his, you can then go out and find your own one, or the room that would become yours if you side with, uh, Tenpenny in blowing up Megaton. Which I didn't, and is also the reason why I don't have the dialogue for that, so I'm just gonna have to tell you what happens. So you can go out and talk to him here. Hi, ho! And he's really, really annoyed. I complained offhand one day about how I thought that heap of metal on the horizon was a bit of an eyesore. Mr. Burke offered to take care of it. Burke is such an agreeable man, isn't he? I don't know how I got along without him. I practically don't have to think about things anymore. He takes care of everything. I seldom even have to ask. He's a real go-getter, that one. We need more men like him if we're going to rebuild the world. You're an odd. 
Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no. No, no, my dear boy, it is just the beginning. So yeah, he sits up here, he drinks and shit, sometimes with a sniper rifle, and he definitely wants to rebuild the waste, probably using the wealth and influence he's gathering in this tower. He's got doctors, he's got someone who may have been related to the Chinese army, possibly a general, and he's got other people as well, uh, commerce, economics, stuff like that. So that makes me... He wants to rebuild, change into something else. So he originally came over from England, and then he built the tower here. Why he came over, I don't know, but apparently Europe is in a worse state than America is. So that's Ten Pounds Tower, a place where a man from England, crazy with power and wealth, but this massive monument and took it over, put walls around it, guards it from the outside world, shuns the ghouls with racism, as do the other members, apart from during Dashwood, and that's the whole theater that plays out here. Okay, the ghouls versus these guys. And you can either aid or you can aid the ghouls or aid Tenpenny Towers. But the point, I think, is a lot of them want to rebuild the waste, make it into what it was, or at least Tenpenny and Chengdu, and they're going to try to use the individuals in the tower and the soldiers they have to achieve that, which would explain why they're so tucked away from everybody else. So there's a couple of wee questions you can do now. There's a couple of wee tidbits you can glean from some people, but I'll let you uh, try find those out on your own. So I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please like, favorite and subscribe. Any suggestions for future episodes, leave them in the comments below. And why don't you check out some of my new content that I've been working on, such as how you do or any funny moments that I've been doing. And I hope I will see you in the next episode. And goodbye. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, why not drop a like? If you have anything to say to me, anything to ask, anything to, I don't know, suggest for next episode, please leave it in the comment section below. If you want to watch some more of my videos, why not subscribe and get regular updates? Go watch obvious trailer analysis if you want to see me take the piss out of game trailers, and have a lot more Fallout lore and more best moments to come. Also, don't forget to share on all the social media that you kids love these days. And follow me on Twitter, so I can interact with you all a lot more easier because it is faster to do on Twitter. And you can ask me any questions that you want to ask. I hope I will see you in the next episode. And until then, goodbye.